Hello trainees. So uh, are you ready for the next instruction? Here is the next instruction. So by now you have recorded all the sales details as invoice, right? Like through creating invoices. This is what you have done already, right? So from here you have added items like food sales and everything from customers. Uh, okay, so from here you say customers. Okay, so like like this. Now it's time to actually uh, receive this sales proceed into the bank account. If you notice from here in this file, you have this file with you. If you notice what is happening? This is the total sale for first of July. Okay, so out of this. This first of July's total sale out of this, this is the amount that we received in cash. Okay. At the same time, this is the amount that we received through curve, like you have credit card and debit cards. So they have been charged in the pause machine, in the, I mean, kept on the counter. And this is the amount that you have received through cash. At the same time, we have received, I mean, they are using two different pause uh, machines one from the eastern bank and one from the city bank okay so this is the amount that the eastern bank pause machine received from the customer and this is the amount out of the total sale of the day uh, the they received using the city bank pause machine okay and what happened uh, the Eastern Bank, they have a commission. They get 1.5% and after deducting the commission, this is the amount that is actually being transferred to the bank. And this is the amount for the Citibank, after deducting the commission, this is the amount that is being transferred to the bank. Okay, so that is what we have here. Now, what we need to do, we need to, before we can receive the payment, we need to go to settings, general settings, and we need to create bank accounts, chart of accounts, and we need to create bank accounts. And like, we need to add three different bank accounts. One, okay. of bank accounts for training project. All right. So you need to create this bank account. Okay. I don't like this font. I like this font a lot. Okay. The first bank account you need to create uh, this one bank EBO. Okay, second one you need to create is cash in hand, and the third one is undeposited self. This is the list of bank accounts that you need to create. List of bank account. Okay, all right. So you need to create this three list of banks. And then what you need to do, you need to receive all the payments for the invoices that you created on the same day to the undeposited sales bank. Okay. All right. So you need to receive this payment to the undeposited sales bank account. Okay. This is your second dance. And then, okay. 
task two. That's this is your task two. And task three. After you have received, now start transferring. Okay. Uh, transfer the breakdowns. Breakdown means from this file, you see uh, out of this 105,000, 105,625.45. This is the amount that is uh, like cash, cash sales. This is the amount that is actually the Eastern Bank, not this amount, but after commission, this amount. This amount uh, why this amount? Because in our country, what the bank do, they do not provide the line to line uh, transaction. Like for example, we call it EFT pause for the other countries, like the developed countries, like in US, in UK, in Australia, in Germany, in all, all other European countries, even in India. What happens? They use EFT pause. EFT pause means electronic fund transfer on point of sale. Okay, but in Bangladesh we we have electronic fund transfer, but that is not EFT pause. So that means I don't know last. What is the last time you made a purchase using your credit or debit card from any retail store or any restaurant or anywhere? What happened? Your card got debited instantly. You got the message and everything, but. Please ask the particular uh, supplier, the business owner, and say, hey, have your account got credited on the same time? They'll be saying no, because their account gets credited maybe after two days, after three days, so the bank is using this money. I, I'm not so sure that, okay, why, uh, like, uh, the central bank, the, uh, like, regulatory authority, why they are not imposing this control mechanism, I don't know, uh, but it's, it's not a call to discuss today. Let's forget about it. But this is what happened, and at the same time, the bank does not provide that, okay, actually line by line, like, what, what was my fee? Well, uh, because this is the money, uh, who is the owner of this money? Actually, the business is the owner of this money. So they are selling product to you, us, and every, everybody, to me and everybody. So actually, the business is the owner of the money. The bank is just a custodian, but still, the bank is not providing the line to line transaction items. For example, if you are purchasing, like out of this 6203.50, let's say uh, that uh, it is your amount is, uh, uh, for example, your amount is, uh, I mean, you made a purchase of 102 taka. Out of this 102 taka, maybe uh, 5 taka is the bank fee, and the rest of the amount is actually the sales proceed for the uh, business. So the statement should state this. But the statement, unfortunately, in Bangladesh, you do not get a statement in that way. Okay, if you are still, you need more clarifications, I can show you this uh, I don't need file open okay. so This is what I'm referring to this is a purchase made for only uh, 29.99 pounds and out of this 29.99, 1.22 is the fee and this is the net amount, okay? So we need this sort of statement from the bank in Bangladesh, but unfortunately they do not provide us that. As they do not provide us that, what we are going to do now, okay, we are going to transfer this amount from undeposited sales to the bank account. Okay, so this is the figure that we are going to transfer. So what, what is going to happen? So transfer the breakdowns. So in that case, you will have maximum, transfer the breakdowns, that is maximum three line or three transfer for each day okay, to the bank account. From the undeposited sales account. Okay. This is how you will have, like, uh, you transfer all this money. Okay. After you transfer, and how you are going to transfer this? Like, like here. So you create, first you create the bank accounts, like EBL, let's say EBL. 
count is EBL count. Count code is zero, which is other, and the count number is let's say this one. Save it. Create another bank account called uh, cash and cash in hand account code is zero zero other and account number is zero okay and then you create another bank account and hold it on other and then what you do you receive all the sales to see okay for example uh, I'm not so sure have we created the items okay let's say that okay from here inventory let's check I'm not so sure I have a, I yeah who sells on table okay so let's create an invoice let's sample invoice Let's say to customers on 1st of July, 1st of July, invoice number one, sales on table. Let's say that this was for 25,000 and discount that collected. Okay. All right. So approved. Okay. And this is how you have all the invoices approved, right? So now you need to receive the payment. So like amount paid, this is the payment, amount paid, date paid is the same day, the date of sale, that is 1st of July, and paid to undeposited sales, and the reference is total sales, okay, at payment. You have amount, 25,000 in undeposited sales at this moment, and now you go to transfer, once you have received all the amount in undeposited sales, then you go to, uh, like transfer money and let's say out of this 25,000 from undeposited sale to the EBL business account and out and for which date on the same day obviously on the same day 1st of July and out of this 25,000 let's say 15,000 was cash sale so reference will be cash sales transfer and add another and Okay. So transfer and add another, so 15,000 transfer successfully. And then again from, let's say we have 4,500 and the reference is EBL false, okay, the figure that you're going to pick from here, okay, from here. Kill pause, transfer and add another. And again, for the first of July, let's say another 4,300 as city pause. The reference is city pause. Transfer. You created three transfer for the day, and you see, like undeposited sales. Well, because we created the invoice, but we have not received the amount, have we? I'm not so sure. Let's check this account, account transaction. Okay, so this is the actual thing. And the 1st of July, this amount cash sales, uh, invoice one, so this 28,700, okay, this is correct. Uh, well, so this, this happened twice, remove and redo. Okay, yeah, now this is correct. So as now this is correct, you see 4,950. This is the figure that is we have in undeposited cells, okay? And we will have some figure, a cumulative figure, like, because we are receiving, if you check this file, we are receiving, uh, actual sales figure is this, this column. But we are transferring this column, okay? So the residual value will be remaining in this bank account. 
And what we are going to do with this account, uh, with this amount, we are going to tell you that later. Your task is to transfer all this amount to the undeposited sales account. This is your tax free. Okay? This is your tax free. So you please complete this tax free and then we are going to start with tax 4, tax 5 and the others. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. We hope that you are going to complete this tax 2 and tax 3 at the earliest possible time. Thank you very much.